Welcome, my name is Darren aka Gadget Devo and this is just the first impressions on the Galaxy Note 8. So I'm only going to cover a few areas, I'm going to do a review video in the next kind of coming weeks um, but I just wanted to give my kind of early impressions after a few days of using the Galaxy Note 8 um, and just kind of highlight a few things that have kind of stood out for me thus far. So I suppose the first thing is the design, um, previously used the Galaxy S8, moved on to the S8 Plus. Um, so this shares very much the same kind of design language as both of those handsets. Um, it is slightly squarer on the design itself um, and there's more kind of surface area. Logic tells me that's kind of been done because of the addition of the S Pen. If you think about kind of writing surface and with the new aspect ratio on a lot of 2017 devices going a little bit more narrower in terms of that kind of 18 by 9 ratio, 2 to 1. Um, making it a bit kind of wider and a bit more square kind of gives you a bit more kind of surface area to kind of write on. That's what my logic tells me, that's not an official answer, um, but I will find out and, and ready for the review. Um, so obviously the design, very, very similar. Um, at first glance, the kind of the, the major difference on the back of the device is you've now got the dual cameras. So I've taken some, some early images um, which work fantastic. Samsung's always had a really good reputation for, for image and optic quality. Um, it now has two 12 megapixel cameras on the back, both with uh, optical image stabilization, which is good for a couple of things. So one, when you're taking your images now, it actually takes two images with both of the cameras. Um, and also what that lets you do is it lets you kind of tweak the uh, bokeh effect kind of um, in terms of getting that blurred background. So that is now available in a feature called Live Focus and you can do that pre or post photo. So I've had some fun with that so far. Again, in the review, I'll, I'll put some samples in so you can see that. Um, again, so really, really pleased with that thus far. Um, and again, the rest of the device looks very, very similar to the S range. Um, so other than that being a difference, the, the main kind of other differentiator is the S Pen itself. So you've still got a couple of features term, in terms of the screen right. So you can literally just pop the S Pen out, start scribbling away. Um, there's now um, an extended limit on the how many pages you could write. I can't remember how many it was before the Note 7, but you can write up to 100 pages now on this device. So that's really good. That's a, that's a, a kind of nice improvement. And then if we go into the phone itself, so can't see my password. Go into the phone itself and let's pop out the S Pen again. So you still get that, that kind of that ring of features. You can create a note, you can view all your current notes. Smart select, so that's when you kind of crop around a, an image or an object. Um, and again, you can, if it's not quite right, it, it should identify the edges of the object. If it's not quite right, you can then kind of plus or minus to kind of get that, that added detail. Um, screen right, which is basically taking a screenshot and then you can scribble notify on it, do whatever you need to do. Um, translate, highlight some text, and you can translate into whatever language you wish. Um, Bixby Vision, and then you've got um, Live Message. A so Live Message is a new one, which basically is kind of, you can see my last one there, let's get rid of that. It's just a way of scribbling a message. And if you send that via some kind of messenger service, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, um, they'll receive the message and it will kind of annotate exactly how you've scribed it. So um, that's another new feature they've added there as well. Get rid of that. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention um, briefly was just about the battery. So that was probably my only reservation when hearing about the Note 8 versus the, the S range, especially the S8 Plus. So the S8 Plus actually has a bigger battery than what's in here. I believe the S8 Plus off the top of my head is 3,500 milliamps and this is 3,300 milliamps. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot on paper, um, but when you're dealing with a slightly bigger screen, um, more power, added features, it was a little bit of a concern. It's still early days. Um, I've had no issues so far. It's getting me through the day comfortably. It's still, still very, very early, but in the next couple of weeks when I do my review, I'll have a bit more of a bigger picture on terms of how that battery really holds up. If you've ever used a smartphone before, those first few weeks, your battery is actually adjusting to your kind of usage. It always starts off on fire. Oh, fire, touch wood. It doesn't start on fire. It always starts off very, very good in terms of um, performance. And then the more you use it, add your apps, 
and it acclimatizes to the kind of your usage, then you get the kind of true battery usage. So I'll know a bit more in a few weeks, but that's all I wanted to touch on briefly in terms of first impressions. I'm really, really impressed with it so far. Um, it's probably gonna be my favorite phone of the year. So that's all I wanted to go through now in terms of kind of first impressions. I'm gonna do a more in-depth review in the coming weeks once I've kind of used it for a little bit longer. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do just a review on this or I can do a comparison with the Note 7 so I can compare the two, see how they kind of stack up. I can do a comparison with the S8 Plus or the OnePlus or the Pixel. Let me know. I'll probably go with the majority in terms of kind of what you guys want to see. Um, any questions you've got, feel free to comment below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Take care.